Hello, today I will show you how we can install the Ultima demo from 1998 on Windows 10, the 32-bit version. The first thing we see is that the installer requires NTVDM to be installed, the 16-bit subsystem of Windows. After installing NTVDM, the installer continues and we see that we have to install Ultima Online first. Let me insert the CD, uninstall it. I will do an advanced installation and I will install the full version. I like to keep my game separate, thus I will install it in C double point backslash games backslash Ultima Online. One thing we have to note is that because the installer requires a 16 bit subsystem, it will most likely not work on the 64 bit versions of Windows. Memories come back. I really like this game and I miss it. That's installed now and we will run the Ultima Online demo installer. Excellent, this seems to work now. Okay, we will choose the demo directory from Games Ultima Online. For some reason, the second H installer created that empty directory. The installer seems to hang, let's close it. Now, before we run the demo, we have to modify the configuration file as the old client doesn't really like modern full screen and will go berserk. So we have to modify the configuration file so that it starts in windowed mode. Luckily, it's a text file and we can edit easily with notepad. Now, something seems to have gone wrong while saving. A new text file has been created. Let's delete the old file and rename the new file. This behavior is actually a bit odd. Let's run the Ultima online demo now. Nothing seems to happen. That is not what I expected. Let's run it from here. Nope. Let's check the task manager. Let's go to details and look for UO demo in the list. Nope, not running. Okay, let's first check if we can run the normal client. Yes, that one works. Okay, let's close it. The next thing that we will try is running the demo as administrator instead. That does something. The client is still running. Let's fix that. Okay, done. Let's run as administrator again. Ah, memories, the song is called to my ears. Let's run around a bit. This all seems to go very well. I do not want to run the game every time as administrator. I want to fix it. Enough of playing, bye. We can also play with the compatibility settings in the properties, but let's be honest, I will not bore you with that. I tried them all and most of them will run the exe as administrator. Let's leave it at Windows 7 or you can uncheck it, whatever. Let's close this. Then we will go to the Ultima Online Directory properties. We want to review the security settings of the directory to understand why administrative rights are required. The everyone rights are empty. This actually looks weird. We start fixing this by taking ownership of the directory. And then we will manually create a default rights configuration. We remove the everyone user. We will add a system user and give him full control. Then we will add the authenticated users group. This is optional and give it read only rights. Then we will grant ourselves modify rights. The idea is that we give the demo executable write rights to the game directory. Back in the days, applications assumed write access everywhere. A big mistake. And IT history has showed them all wrong.
Let's run it again. This seems to go well. Giving the current user right access to the Ultima online directory fixed it. Perfect. This concludes our mission and this tutorial. Bye. Thank you for staying and listening. I hope you learned something. See you later.